Hey guys, an image gallery is a great way to showcase your different looks. Let's get started on showing you how to use the image gallery module in the visual builder. Let's click on edit with visual builder to bring up our visual builder. Here it comes. Okay. Here we are. Now let's go down here and click the plus sign for add a new section. We'll choose regular, then we'll add a new row. We'll do a single column row and then let's find the gallery module. We could scroll around, but let's just type in G A L. There's the gallery module. And there we go. Now if module row and setting and a section are all kind of foreign terms, that means you did not do the interactive five minute tutorial. So make sure before proceeding on this little demo that you participate in that five minute interactive tutorial and then all of this will make a lot more sense. All right, now that we're in the gallery settings, we can click add gallery images. So if I already had images in my media gallery, I could choose from images I've already uploaded to the website, but we're gonna need to upload some new ones. So let's click on upload files, select files, and I am going to select all of these. So we're gonna select all six of these or seven of these images. So this might take a little bit of time, but let's watch them upload. There we go. There's one. We're doing this tutorial live without cuts so that you can see how easy it is from start to finish. There we go. Beautiful pictures of this model. Now I want to point out some things about these pictures. So now that they're all uploaded, you could uncheck some of them or keep them all checked, but we'll just, we'll keep these checked. And I want you to notice something else. When you highlight an image, you can actually change some of the settings in real time of this image. So here's the alternative text. Sometimes you want to put in some human readable text here for uh, screen readers and for SEO. And then right here's the title of the image. Now the gallery can show the title of the image to the viewers. Right now it just uploads as the file name as the default of the title, but you might want to change this to say curve and then get rid of that underscore, capitalize magazine, edit tutorial. And then sometimes you want to copy and paste that information in right there. And you might also, and uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. You could add a little more detail, but that's that's good for now. And you push enter, and then that saves that information for that image. All right, that's looking pretty good. So we've got six images selected here. Let's do the number seven right there, and let's click select. And in real time, there they are right there showing up. And uh, that looks good. So we're not gonna make any changes. We're just gonna click right there, save. And then we will go to the uh, to the live section of the site and reload it and see what that looks like. Okay, here we are. There's the images, but we're only seeing four. We've got some pagination, so that shows us the next three images. Let's go back, and you'll notice that these are all the file names, but this is the actual name that we changed. We can open this image up, it comes up in what's called a light box. That looks very nice. And uh, we'll close that. Okay, so that's a good start, but I wanna kinda customize it and add my own details. So let's jump back into the editor here. We're gonna hover over that and click on settings. And now that we're in settings, let's see what other things we can do that is fun. Now, I noticed that only four images were showing, but I wanted all seven to show. So this is what's called the image count, and this will be the maximum amount of images that you would show uh, on a single viewing. So let's change that to say 12. That gives me a big buffer, and that's gonna show all the images at once. Say I didn't like the order of the images. I can drag them around just like that, and that changes the order of the images very quickly. Let's go to the element. Say I didn't want those that title on there, I can choose to take the title off and maybe I don't wanna show pagination, so I'll take that off as well. Okay, we are really customizing this. Let's get it, let's go even further. 
Let's go to the Design tab right here. And let's dig down to Image. And we'll make some more changes. I could add a border width to all these images just like that if that was my style. But I'll take that off. And instead, I'm going to do a box shadow. So this is a nice little box shadow that adds a little more depth to the page and kind of makes these images appear to float over the top. Okay, that's a new, nice little style. I could further change that style a little bit by making it a blue. I like that blue. Okay, there's actually, there's, there's quite a few things you can change here, but just for, for our purposes of this demo, I think we showed a little bit of what it's capable of. And we'll just click the check box. We will click the save button. And then we will reload this page and see what this image gallery looks like. And there it is. As you can see, there's a little bit of a drop shadow that's purple or bluish. And then I can upload it. And again, there's the title of the image. Um, and you'll want to maybe make those changes to give it real titles and make sure that it's not your file name so it looks more professional. And that's it. Now you've just made a unique gallery and you can make as many galleries as you want with all your images and you can place them just about anywhere. That's looking great. And then let's also check something else out. Let's see how it looks in mobile. You can always test your work right here in the, in the uh, visual builder. Let's go to mobile. Okay. And notice how the images stack. So those stack nicely. Let's see what they look like on a tablet. See where we go. There they are. And so the, that reduces down to three across. And that looks nice as well. And it's still very readable. Okay. That's great. That's looking good. And that should give you a really great idea on how to build an image gallery in the Visual Builder. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And also, don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. That way, we can get more attention on Actor Gear and keep building great videos to make it easy for you to build a website. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing what you create. Take care.